has been used. Well, we'll never know. Microscope I feel like this is a lot. Microscope So it looks horrific. This is the pump. Um, this is the like Evo pump. So this is all like connected. Um, and this then goes into the chip here. Um, but this is meant to be the other way around. However, given the space that I have, I can't really have it all here. I mean, I guess I could, it's just a lot happening. I don't know whether to just switch this to left hand control instead, and then we can have it all here. But then that leaves loads of space around here, because this is the only spot that the microscope can go. I see my problem. Right, day two of trying to figure out the microscope. Well, not the microscope. The microscope is fine and dandy. It is the flow system and the computer that are not talking to each other. So I need to figure that out. I need to leave. I've had a shower. I've had a very lazy morning, but I've also been productive. I have sent a couple of emails. So then when I go in, I can just crack on. And hopefully we can come to some resolution of said issue. Not feeling massively hopeful, but we're gonna try our best. It's the 1st of December. How did that happen? It has come round so quickly. Like, I'm still getting used to the fact that it's 2022 and now it's soon to be 2023. Oh my God. Um, yeah, this year has gone unbelievably fast. Unbelievably fast. And I have two weeks off over Christmas and I'm gonna take an extra week off in January. So I'm gonna have three weeks off. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be so good. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm still trying to sort out this bloody microscope. Well, it's not even the microscope, it's the microfluidic device and the computer connection. It's just driving me mad. Hopefully we can come to a resolution and get it working. So next week I can actually test it out. I am not going to let the microscope defeat me. I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna beat it and we're gonna get it working. That's the attitude that I'm taking into today. The microscope has officially broken me. Turns out the microscope is the wrong microscope for the flow system that we have. So they will not be compatible. We made it an inverted microscope where the focal point looks upwards. Instead, we have a top-down microscope. Um, we use this microscope for a variety of different things, and um, we wanted to be able to use it for this so we could get our mileage out of the microscope. But it's the wrong one, and I'm very frustrated because we were moving this microscope into this room we had those discussions um, 
they needed to be moved because there's been some institute restructuring. But we had those discussions back in July and it's taken now, until now, um, the end of uh, November, December, to get it moved. And I feel like in that time, had I have known it was the wrong microscope, we could have set up this flow system elsewhere in that time. And I'm a bit frustrated because of the inefficiency, really. Um, uh, I wasn't involved in the initial like conversations when it came to ordering the flow system, um, and I've only just spoken to the engineer today, and that's when we realised that it was the wrong setup. Um, so, you know, these things can't be helped, it's one of those things, but I am still feeling pretty frustrated about it, um, because I feel like I've wasted so much time, and it could have been done sooner and I could have like got some really cool results from my paper. However, I don't think it's going to be happening this year. I think it's going to have to be next year. Um, the engineer has given a couple of different options and he's speaking to my PI about that. So we're on the same page and we know what to do moving forward. Um, you know, we can fix it, we can sort it, it's just taking a longer time which is it is really frustrating um, I'm kicking myself but there's not really a huge amount I can do um, except for wait and also discuss with my supervisor about it um, but hopefully once we've made a decision we can get the ball rolling and figure out what's going on with that but needless to say I am feeling a bit grumpy today I've got to do lots of prep for my experiment tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm now backing up the computer to try and get a lot of crap off it. Um, there is about 500 gigabytes of data on here. I need to remove it because it's so full. Today has not been good. I'm feeling very grumpy. I know I'm smiling, but on the inside, I'm screaming. Is this just like a thing in academia or like academic science that things just take forever? Or is it, does this happen in industry? Let me know. Because I don't know if I want to completely stay in academia. I'm not sure, I've not made that decision yet. Um, days like this I'm like no it's not for me but the grass is always greener on the other side right um there's a lot of positives to what I do I like the freedom to do a lot of things but it's just like when things like this happen in terms of like the inefficiency of things I get really grumpy about it I'm totally open to exploring different career paths within science and biology and medicine like medical research and things like that always been intrigued in science writing also would love to learn coding and you know have the option to be able to do like computational biology and remote work and all of these kind of things. Um, yeah, there's loads of things I want to do. I kind of feel like I want to try all of the different career paths because you're always learning, right? And you can always gain something from trying something new. So I don't know. There's some thoughts thoughts while my computer is backing up, which is going to probably take a day to do that. I'm going to leave that to back up and do its thing because it's taking forever. I need to have coffee and then I need to prep tomorrow because I have a busy day tomorrow. So let's do it. morning we went to a porto's birthday party last night which was um which is like one of our favorite bars in leeds and it was their 26th birthday party um so we just dropped in for a quick drink after work to wish 
them happy birthday um, and yeah just have like a nice wind down after work um yesterday was a challenge um i feel a bit deflated about the microscope thing to be honest because this is going to delay my paper even more and you know in the grand scheme of things it's not like that much of a big deal but it you know it's important to me and i really wanted to submit my paper this year and it's just really not going to happen and I don't know <sighs> I don't know when it's going to happen and yeah feeling quite deflated about that to be honest and just disappointed but these things happen as they say so we got to move on move forward I need to see if there's a microscope in the building. If not, we need to buy one. I just want to get on, crack on and do the science um, instead of all the faffing about. But we move, we move. Um, busy day today and um, Zach and I are going out on a date night tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, Hendrix, what's up big? Honey, what's up? What's up gorgeous? She's a chatterbox. The dishwasher's on and she doesn't like the sound of the dishwasher, basically. That's what that is. Anyway, Zach and I are off on a date night tonight, so I'm looking forward to that after <laughs> a challenging week. Yeah, we're going to a place called Out, so O-W-T, uh, which is in the Corn Exchange in Leeds, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've not been before, and it's been on our list for ages, so it'll be nice to check that out. What's up with you? What's up, babe? Oh. I can't actually decide if I look like Steve Jobs, Elizabeth Holmes, or like just some HE's dad. I feel like it really is the 501 light wash Levi's that really give an extra vibe. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you think it's Steve Jobs, Elizabeth Holmes, or just an HE's dad, or anyone else. Tell, tell me what else you think this vibe is giving. I do have like a turtleneck underneath here as well. Um, because I'm going to a Christmas market and it's going to be cold um, because Zach is doing like a coffee thing at this Christmas market with loads of independent businesses so I'm looking forward to that but I need to stay warm because if it's cold I'm not going to be happy um, I'm not going to be happy uh, but yeah I'm looking forward to it but first I'm going to go for brunch with my friend and it's going to be good I'm excited for some yummy food <laughs> 